Good morning, everyone. It's Jelani. The morning scripture came from the book of Second Samuel, chapter 9. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, in the name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. We come before you this morning, as every morning, to give you thanks for yet another day of life. Another day that you have allowed us to live, to move, to have our being. Another day that we can bask in your mercies and your grace. Another day that you have given us the maximum permissible time to turn away from that which destroys us and to cleave unto our salvation which is found alone in you Lord Jesus another day that we can abide in your love another day that we can show your love one towards another another day that we can give thanks and rejoice in that the God of, our, of all creation is our God and worthy to be exalted another day dear Lord that we can rest in you and have peace in you even in this mortal life another day that we can look to all the blessings and the many blessings that is that you have bestowed for us and to us in this life thus far Another day that we can be content with that which you have given us in this life. There's many other things that we can give you thanks for yet you have and will do for us in this day that you have made. Let us therefore rejoice and be glad in it. Lord Jesus, as I petition you every day for each and every one of us is that you O oh Lord keep us and cause it so that we know and do and fulfill your good acceptable perfect and holy will my petition is that you O oh Lord in all our decisions in all our th thoughts or the imagination of the thoughts of our hearts or the intents of our minds whatever we comprise and do whatever we comprise of or do we want to be led by your Holy Spirit in all things and we want to be instructed and be encouraged to be reminded to be reproved that reproved and corrected by your Holy Word cause it so that we are enduring and that we are all equipped with that spiritual armor that we may fight against the workers of evil and to triumph over our enemy which is called Satan and the devil so Heavenly Father as we abide here on this straight and narrow path cause it so that we always look ahead on heavenly things look to you focusing on you so that nothing of this life may distract us for we are we are easily distracted I can hold my hands up so Heavenly Father because we just have but a moment because this life is but a vapor in the grand scheme of things because when we compare it to eternity it is as nothing we do not want to jeopardize our eternal dwelling place with you in what we do here in this mortal life and because we are prone to make mistakes and prone to mess up we come to you because again 
you came here, Lord Jesus, in the likeness of us, suffered all things, was tempted in all manner as we are and were. But the only difference is you sinned not once. Which is, again, it blows my mind. Not once you sinned. So because we already have messed up, we have sinned and fallen short of your glory, even now, in this present time, we are asking, dear Lord, that this nature of sin cease and desist, and that we may be found in the righteousness which alone is found in you, your righteousness in us, so that in the day that you do return, which that day is coming, we may be found in your good pleasure, in your righteousness we may be redeemed from this body of corruption into that eternal body of incorruption having been glorified with you we will abide with you forever and ever help us as we ask each and every day throughout the tests and trials of life that we in you may conquer and overcome all things continue to perfect your love in us, O Heavenly Father. Continue to help us to help one another in love, especially the youth, to raise them up in the knowledge and truth of who you are, so when they themselves are of age, they shall never neglect nor reject you, and that you continue to promote, to nurture, to sustain and to put your hedge of protection around marriages in the pursuit of godly marriages so that in all things we may be perfected in you and glorified with you and in you lord jesus christ to the glory of god our heavenly father we pray even in the name yeshua hamashiach amen Alrighty. second samuel chapter 9 and David said, Is there yet any that is left of the house of Saul, that I may show him kindness for Jonathan's sake? And there was of the house of Saul a servant whose name was Ziba. And when they had called him unto David, the king said unto him, Art thou Ziba? And he said, Thy servant is he. And the king said, Is there not yet any of the house of Saul, that I may show the kindness of God unto him? And Ziba said unto the king, Jonathan hath yet a son, which is lame on his feet. And the king said unto him, Where is he? And Ziba said unto the king, Behold, he is in the house of Makar. Maichar, the son of Amiliel, in Lodibar. Then King David sent and fetched him out of the house of Maichar, the son of Amiliel, from Lodibar. Now, when me Mephibosheth, the son of Jonathan, the son of Saul, was come unto David, he fell on his face and did reverence. And David said, Mephibosheth. And he answered, Behold, thy servant. And David said unto him, Fear not, for I will surely show thee kindness for Jonathan thy father's sake, and will restore thee all the land of Saul thy father, and thou shalt eat bread at my table continually. And he bowed himself and said, what is thy servant that thou shouldest look upon such a dead dog as I am? Then the king called to Ziba, Saul's servant, and said unto him, I have given unto thy master's son all that pertain to Saul and to all his house. Thou therefore and thy sons and thy servants shall till the land for him, and Thou shalt bring in the first sorry, thou shalt bring in the fruits that thy master's son may have food to eat. 
but Mephibosheth, thy master's son shall eat bread alway at my table. Now Ziba had fifteen sons and twenty servants. Then said Ziba unto the king, According to all that my lord the king hath commanded his servant, so shall that thy servant do. As for Mephibosheth, said the king, he shall eat at my table as one of the king's sons. And Mephibosheth had a young son whose name was Micah. And all that dwelt in the house of Ziba were servants unto Mephibosheth. So Mephibosheth dwelt in Jerusalem, for he did eat continually at the king's table, and was lame on both his feet. Amen. All right. All right, that's a nice one to speak about on Saturday. Again, showing the character of David, but I'll leave it at that this morning. Anything that you want to share, as always, drop it in the comment section or send it into the word at eachreachone.org. And as much as the Lord has led me, taught me, and kept me over the years, I will answer them according to his word, according to his principles, according to his will, being led by his Holy Spirit. Have a blessed day, everyone, and God's willing, we'll catch up again tomorrow.